What's up, Mail Geeks? And welcome back to October's Shima's Facebook custom video. If you're new to this series and you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. I run a group with a couple of my awesome friends in the community, uh, Victoria, Lisa, and uh, Emmy. Um, and we basically have a Shimmer Facebook fan group. It's it's celebrating all things Shimmer, nail polish, things like that. It's a super fun laid back group. Uh, pretty much anything Shimmer goes in there. And uh, we decided to do customs for this year. Each month I have done a video featuring uh, each maker who's doing our custom. I did not do episodes for June and July. I do apologize about that. Uh, if you've been hanging out with me this entire year, you know, summer was just bananas for my schedule and it just did not happen. But I apologize about that. But we are keeping the ship on track moving forward. Uh, this month, we are very lucky to have Crystal Designs as our maker. And uh, if you did not know much about Crystal, I'm hoping this video will highlight her, which is essentially the whole reason why we wanted to do these customs. So if you are asking yourself, Trish, do I really have to join a Facebook group to buy this custom? No, you do not. You do not. It is available through the maker's website. And we basically gave the makers full reign if they wanted to, to keep their polishes around. I think uh, Lynn B Designs might still have hers around that she did for us in February. I think Dom, I think that was our April maker. Um, I know she still has it in her shop and things like that. So it's up to the maker. Now, uh, Chris, maker Chris of Chris Wall Designs, uh, has made this custom for us. It's beautiful. It's sparkly. It's fantastic. Um, it is only available until Halloween, October 31st. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to swatch it here in just a moment. Per tradition to this series, we're going to go over the website, just some things that I'm looking at on the website and kind of oogle and ah and all that good stuff over the website and just look at it together. And we're going to have some general information and then we'll swatch the custom. So pulling up the website here, if you want to follow along with me or rather what's behind me here. Um, if you did not know, I didn't know until fairly recently, Crystal Designs is a Canadian based brand. With that said, I did ask Chris herself if she sh if she ships to, you know, anywhere else outside of even like the US and she said she does. So all that information is on her website. If you are international to Canada, um, you can order from her just throwing that out there. Um, moving through here, uh, we've got, and I do have her new trio, actually. I will have the video up uh, probably this week, or I might even include it in this video. We'll see. But uh, going through nail polish, we've got the Birthstones collection. These are really pretty. Let me go back. I do have a big giant video I'm going to drop probably at the end of November. I have all of the Birthstones, actually. Compliments from uh, Victoria. But um, I do have all the Birthstones, and they are very pretty in person. So you will see a big, big video of that from me um, in the next coming weeks. But you can see these here. These are all lovely. And I will also be, I'll ask permission first, of course, but I will be spoiling December if I end up doing the video in end of November, which I guess it won't be spoiling at that point. But anyways, we have the Birthstones collection. Those are really pretty. Uh, there's this Drama Queen Quartet. These are really nice. Um, oh, these look like nice chromey looking finishes. Um, we've got these, we've got, oh, we've got some jellies here. Let's look at the jellies. These are the jellies. I'm always saying when you're starting out with indie polish and you're starting out your collection, you need a good set of creams and you need a good set of jellies because all of us at one point is going to try some nail art. And I promise you, you're going to want creams and or jellies, especially if you're learning stamping, that kind of thing. Uh, it comes in very handy. Uh, speaking of creams, uh, these are nice. We have lots of neon polishes. Hello, neon polishes. Um, these look fantastic. They look very creamy and plump, which is my favorite. Hey, yo. Um, these are nice baked. This swatch is gorgeous too. Yeah, this is a really pretty color. I really like these. That's very, very pretty. So that is some creams, limited quantity releases. There's nothing here, which I should not be surprised. Um, oops and prototypes. Those are always fun. Oh, there's nothing there. I should not be surprised again. Um, and then we've got, let's see, summer and sunshine collection. These are really cute. It's almost giving me like a springy type of vibe. Uh, oh, earrings. What is that? 
Okay, these are adorable. I did not know that Chris made earrings. Uh, news to me. And look how cute these freaking jellyfish are. That is adorable. Uh, I think she made those. Did she make those? They are hand crocheted. I'm such a nut for crazy earrings and I'm trying to get back into it and find my, as I said on the BKL video, I'm trying to find my joy and, and do things that make me happy and, and silly earrings are that. And these tentacle monster earrings. Okay. These are cute. These are super cute. I did not know that. And I'm assuming you probably did not know that either, but uh, we've also got some magnets here and Oh, Helmer magnets. If you didn't know, Ikea has something called a Helmer, which Anyone in the nail community probably has at least one. I personally have five of them. They hold, I think, like 800 something bottles of nail polish. And uh, believe it or not, I have more that did not fit into those Helmers. But I'm hoping to downsize that for this coming blog sale. Like, I want to get it down to five Helmers and that's it. But anyways, Ikea has these Helmers. They're like these little office drawer thingy, metal drawer things. They're awful to put together. So make sure you have a friend that you absolutely adore, put it together for you. And then you can have all of your polishes in there. They're really handy and they're metal. So these magnets are really cool for that. So uh, this is the Chris Wool Designs uh, website. If you wanted to go per use it and check it out, you can see on the front page here that there is Twilight Opulence, which is our custom for this month. So without further ado, that's a great segue. It's almost like I planned it. Let's dive in and check it out live swatched. Twilight Opulence is a taupe purplish base with bluish purple shimmer and silver flash glitter. This is a stunner. Now I want to note for opacity, I decided to take it up to three coats. Honestly, I think you're going to get a decent full coverage at two coats, but just for the sake of being extra, I chose to do three coats. So two normal coats, honestly, I think is perfect. Even though this has reflective glitters in it, I feel like it didn't get super gritty, but there is enough in here that it's not like a you know, a really sparse type of sprinkling of those glitters. So they are noticeable, but again, I was pleasantly surprised it didn't get super textured. With that said, I would still suggest a glitter smoothing top coat to smooth it out and it toppers really well. And then the Ghouls Gone Wild Trio, this first one up is Playful Poltergeist. This is described as a blackened blue to purple multi-chrome base with a subtle blue to purple magnetic shift. This is very lovely and it builds up to opacity perfectly at two coats. Even with it being a magnetic, I'm always saying make sure you have plenty of polish on your nails before you magnetize to ensure that you get a really stark line from your magnet, whichever one you're using. When you don't magnetize it, this is a beautiful multi-chrome on its own, so very versatile. And when you magnetize it, it creates this I don't want to say subtle, but it's a softer type of look between the magnetic pigment and the backdrop itself. Overall, it is very shifty, lots of color roll, whether you decide to magnetize it or not. Finish with a really good glossy top coat though, because this one dries down quite a bit, like a, like a very strong chrome feel. It will topper pretty well over black, but personally, I don't think you're doing it justice. This is one of those multi-chromes that is just perfect by itself. So you can see on my, my full hand shot here on my photos and on my macro shot, the magnetic pigments and the regular pigment both have a beautiful purple cast. Wicked Whimsy is a is an orange purple solar UV reactive base with gold to orange shimmer. This has a somewhat jelly type of formula to it, but it has a strong squish factor. So for that reason, I would suggest two normal coats. I chose to take it up to a third coat. And honestly, I thought it was a bit of overkill. I had just a touch too much polish on the nails. So stop at two coats. It dried down semi flat. So I think any top coat is going to be perfect. Now this is a solar polish, meaning you will get the secondary color in sunlight and or a UV flashlight, like what I'm using here or a nail lamp. This was being so fast to transition back to its indoor state. So I, I kind of slowed it down here a little bit so you can make sure to see it. It is a purpley color in the sunlight. And then it does topper really well over black, but honestly, this is another one I would not topper mostly because it's got a strong orange base to it. And then the last one is Eerie Excitement. 
This is a green base with purple to blue shimmer, hollow flakes, and silver reflective glitter. This is very much like Twilight Opulence in that the reflective glitters to it didn't give me that super gritty textured feel that we normally see with reflective glitters like this that are quite dense throughout the formula itself. I would suggest two to three coats. It is a bouncy type of jelly formula. I personally enjoyed it the best at three coats, but honestly, I think some of you might be okay with two coats as well. It is a softer type of buildup. If you have a visible nail line, like a, like a prominent white free edge, or you're wearing stark contrasting falsies under, underneath, I could probably see you really needing that third coat. So again, your preference there. I did use a glitter smoothing top coat and a glossy top coat to seal this up. So our Shimmers Custom is going to be available again until now, until October 31st, Halloween. So get it if you are wanting it, especially if you are collecting our Pokemon cards, our Shimma Customs for this entire year. Um, it will be gone after Halloween. So just highlighting that. Uh, the price is 15 Canadian, but it will be 1450 Canadian with the discount in the group Shimma 50. So it's just a little 50 cent difference there or 50... 0.5 Canadian. I know things, I promise. I will link you all below to Chris Will Nail Designs if you want to join that. I will also link you to our Facebook group, the Shimmas group, where me or the other beautiful admins will happily let you in. And uh, there is no reason per se to be in there, but if you wanted to join, we do have a pinned document in the group where uh, we have the rest of this year's makers listed. Um, I think we're going to have some more customs for next year. I don't know. I will probably announce all that information in December. So I'm getting ahead of myself there. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.